Hi there guys, Tommy here, back with some Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map Raid. I'm using the PDW, Silencer, Fast Make, and the Stock Attachment. My perk loadout is Ghost, Tardine, Scavenger, and Dexterity. My score streak loadout is something a little bit different, something I don't really use much. The Stealth Chopper, Orbital, and the uh, Escort Drone. These skill streaks really work well if you want to, if you don't want to use like the same old kill streaks like the Orbital, Lois, and the Swarm. I do recommend using these, these are quite fun to use but uh, the only downfall about them is they don't, sometimes they don't get many kills or sometimes they just get taken down really easily, I don't know why. It's just that thing about the game, you know, sometimes you get those good games when they just go beast and uh, you get those games when they just do shit. So yeah, in this gameplay I'm not really going to be talking about much other than uh, something that happened yesterday well not something that happened yesterday we went on an adventure yesterday me Flynn and three other friends three other friends called Dan Luke and Matt so yeah in this gameplay I go 61 to 7 so I hope you guys do enjoy that and uh, yeah so basically yesterday me and Flynn arranged to go out and uh, three of our other friends wanted to come so yeah we met up with them then we end up walking down some roads and stuff like that to eventually get to a shop where I brought some fruit pastels because they're just like the best sweets ever. Uh, <laughs> then uh, yeah, we end up walking down some more roads and alleyways and uh, stuff like that. And uh, they told me to move out of the way because I thought they wanted to do something. So I moved out of the way and uh, I end up walking in front of some guy on his bike. Uh, I heard him say something. I can't remember what. But uh, all I can remember is that they were like, oh, fucking hell, Tommy. Just like messing around and stuff like that. Then we eventually uh, walked up to his dad's house, uh, and yeah, they just kept on do <laughs> saying some really weird stuff like "way" like really loud. Uh, it's like their little battle cry, battle cry or something like that. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, they just kept on saying that. Then eventually we got to Flynn's dad's house so he could get some money to buy an SD card. And if you guys don't know what SD card is, uh. It is a memory card for a camera because uh, Flynn was going to record our adventure, which he did, and uh, he's going to edit it together soon. And uh, once he does, I'll leave a link in the description, maybe, for you guys to watch it if you want to, to see me. Uh, there were some clips of me we done. I'll tell you as we go along, okay, because uh, there's no point in telling me you, you now as uh, it will just basically be no point because you won't know what I'm on about. So, yeah, we got the money. And we end up walking all the way to town. And uh, yeah, we end up going through some shopping centre place. And there was a fish tank with some fake jellyfish or real jellyfish. I'm not too sure. Uh, they looked pretty believable to look real. With some waterproof phones in there. And uh, my friend Luke, he thought it was like an open glass bit. So he, he went to look over it. And uh, he ended up smashing his head on the glass. We all just burst out laughing. And looks he got from people. It was just, oh, it's just too funny. And then uh, me and Flynn went around looking for some SD cards from shops. He ended up buying a 8 gigabyte one from Argos. And then we made our way to the train station to go to this place called Dion C. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that. Probably not if unless you live in South End, which some of you do. And look, a nice little bit of lag there. And uh, never mind, uh, the commentary hasn't uh, isn't synced up with the gameplay, I just realised. Fail. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we end up walking around, they end up going to Greg's and um, buying some food. We end up getting near the train station, there's some guy wearing an anonymous mask talking about some guy that stole a bottle of water and got put in jail. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we end up buying some chips, I brought a chip by with Flynn, but I didn't eat the bread, uh, the roll actually for some reason, I just ate the chips. And then, yeah, we brought our tickets and stuff like that, we got on the train and I had to eat my food really fast. I'm, I don't really eat food fast, I eat like a snail, I eat so, so slow. If any of you guys know me in real life, you'll know that I eat really slow. Um, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. And then when we were on the train, we got off and they brought some food. And we ended up walking through some glass bit, uh, not grass, gr glass, grass bit. And there was a glass bottle there, Budweiser, I can remember. And then I ended up picking it up and uh, trying smashing it on the tree and uh, I threw it really hard at the tree and it didn't do nothing, it just basically dented the tree. We all tried it, like smashing it up close, doing whatever we could to just try to smash it. We just wanted to see would it smash and this bottle was invincible, I swear to god. It just would not smash whatsoever. 
So then we end up tossing off into a bush somewhere and walking off into the fields and uh, throughout this week it's been kind of snowing a bit and uh, raining so the f grass weren't really um, dry, it was all wet and slushy like the mud. So yeah, we were walking through it all and we end up walking through some really long grass, bloody hell, it was so long, I was like, I should have brought a llama or something like that. And then it gets more funnier as uh, we go on back onto the, the mud path. It was really hard walking because our shoes were kind of getting stuck in it and it was, the mud is stuck to our shoes which made our shoes really, really heavy. So yeah, then uh, we end up walking along it and then we end up like, coming up with nicknames for ourselves and uh, we called our friend Luke, Luke Grills, because he ended up taking out some vegetables and saying it's like spring onion and it's fresh and pretends to eat it. Oh, it's so funny. And then, uh, we, yeah, that's when we started the recording stuff. Dan was called Turtle, my friend Matt was called Potato, I was DVD Man, and Flynn was called The Fat Recorder. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. We, we end up walking on through some fields and stuff like that. And then, eventually, when we get to the place where we wanted to go, it took a long while. Actually, before that, I trod in some really deep, thick mud, and my shoe came off, and I ended up treading in it. Oh, it's so horrible. It's all cold and muddy. Oh, my hands were covered in mud and so were my jeans and shoes. It was horrible. But then we end up getting to the place and uh, Flynn's looking around and he sees like some kind of brick place and he thought it was like a bunker. So he zoomed in on his camera because his camera can do that. And then we end up walking over to it thinking we, it has high hopes for um, to make the adventure even more interesting. But no, it was just some little mini tunnel passageway place. So uh, yeah, now kind of disappointing but... In the end, we had to go like, across the train tracks to get there, so we just jumped across the train tracks, uh, kind of shitting it a bit, because the train just went past, but then we went, obviously, after the train went past. So it was just jumping through, like, shitting it in case we, like, in case we tried on the tracks or something, because we didn't know what the hell, if they, if they were alive or not. So, yeah, we end up creating a fire and stuff like that. Luke Grills gave some tips on uh, how to survive at night. <laughs> uh, it's just some really uh, funny video, guys. So, I hope you guys will enjoy it once Flynn's done editing. And then we end up walking back up the hill to some the castle place. We just sat on the wall for a bit. And then we end up recording something, taking some pictures of us just doing some random shit. Then we end up doing some random vlogs uh, about what we think of Luke Grills and uh, how we got captured because we were just sat in some castle place and we made out that we got captured by some uh, Jamaican gypsies and uh, some guy was riding past on his bike and Luke went, oh look, it's a gypsy on his bike. <laughs> the guy just turned around and gave him the most dirtiest look ever. Oh. And then once that we done that, we start heading back and there's some kind of... Uh, the uh, steep muddy hill and Dan, Luke and Matt, they wanted to run down it and uh, so they did, I didn't want to run down, down it because I knew I was going to slip over and when me and Flynn come over the hill we just see Luke standing there and his grey joggers were just covered in black mud, oh, you just could see him, he was just slipped over and you could see his like little skid mark along the grass. And as I was walking down, I end up like sliding across the mud, and uh, my right knee goes into it, sad face. So uh, yeah, my knee got covered in mud. Then we had to walk through some fields again. Then my shoe kept on coming off, like the back of my shoe, and my socks ended up coming down. Oh, mud was like all over the place. <laughs> then uh, we were walking through, and I slipped over again. My left knee landed in the mud this time, and uh, my hand landed in the thorn bush. I cut it over. Cuts my fingers a bit, and uh, yeah, it's a bit sore now. It was a really long walk, but it was really fun. And then, yeah, we end up walking back to the train station eventually. We sat down for a bit, just looking at the sunset. And there was some guy sat on some kind of seat with a parachute kind of thing on it, attached to it. And he had some fan on it, just blowing, like, m deciding where he goes. It's quite cool, actually. I wouldn't mind trying that out. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's the adventure, guys. And on the way back on the train journey... Uh, Basically, we just done a little ending, and it was just a kind of random ending. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like and a comment on whatever. Subscribe if you're new, and you enjoy my content. And I'll speak to you guys whenever. Adios. And I ran over a bit. Whoops.